This is what we'd call a nightingale ward. Okay. Um, and, and it shows beautifully one of the things that Florence Nightingale did uh, was to emphasise the importance of air and light. And you had these huge windows. Mm. And although they're closed, you can see they would be readily opened. Mm. Um, and everything is bright and white and light. Yeah. The nurses are, the sheets are. Yeah. Um, beautiful picture of a nightingale ward. Mm. Yes. Do you happen to know which, which hospital? That could be anywhere. I mean, okay. it's, it's, it, could be, it could be anywhere, yes. And this was, this was, the, this was it's rather like the car. I don't know if you, this was the, the height of perfection. This is what, this is as it should be. You, the, mm. you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Actually, it's a small hospital because almost certainly they would have taken it the length of the ward. And mm. there's, what is it, one, two, three, four, perhaps five, four beds there only, whereas a real Nightingale ward, as in St Thomas's Hospital in London, there's about... So my mother trained. It, yes, she's a night. well, she would be called a Nightingale, mm. yes, that's mm. right. And that was, yes, and very proud of it too, I think she, she is. Yeah. yeah, well, in a night, she'll tell you, in a Nightingale, I oh, God, I don't know, there's 40 beds, like 20 beds down each, like, well, you know. Yeah. So, so this would have been a smaller hospital, but yeah. they are very proud of it. Mm. And it's absolutely impeccable, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. He's picked up the use of well, the light, the way that Rubilius has picked up the light there, just sort of accent, seems to accentuate it's, it's a, it. It's, well. That is a picture of light and white, isn't it? And it's Christmas time. You can see there's holly Indeed. hanging. Indeed. The, yeah, there's decorations. Yes. What are these? Um, these um, these are hoists. The hoists. The, you see there's a handle on the end. Oh, yes. So, okay. so you could yank yourself up. Ah, because that's hoist for the patients. Yeah, indeed, themselves. that's right, okay. that's right. And would you ever have been present for singing at Christmas? I mean, would you be working Christmas Day? It, well, traditionally, yes. Traditionally, we had a, a cottage hospital now called Community Hospital. And our cottage hospital, which was built in between the wars by public subscription, which we can talk about now or later if you wish, um, was, was a very much... was one of the. It's one of the reasons I chose to be a country GP, because... As a country GP, you had admitting rights to your local hospital. So if I had somebody who was quite ill, but didn't need the full panoply of the district hospital at Barnstable, mm. you could admit them to your GP bed in a cottage hospital and look after them. And where was the cottage hospital? In South Moulton. It was here in South Moulton. Yes, that's right. Okay, right. So we, we had, we still have, it's, as I say, it's now sort of morphed into a community hospital and there's differences. But the cottage hospital, enormous local patriotism. It was mm -hmm. built through local fundraising efforts and all sorts of aspects of it were enhanced through further local fundraising. Mm. Who are these, these this two, is uh, this is Mr. Thorne mm. and his sister. Mm. And they were they lived in above the Bakers, which is called Chanters, mm. which is still a Bakers, it's now an artisan Bakers. Mm. <laughs> but uh, uh, and then it was this is where you went to get your everybody went to get their bread. Now mm. any sort of Middle class people like <laughs> you and I, but, but yeah. everybody else can go to Tesco for Sainsbury's. But no, actually, the chances South Milton still has some artisan. There's a butcher's which are mm. very proper, and there's a mm. proper butcher, two of them. And there's a, to this day, there's a very proper baker's, and they mm. make bread. They they bake it on the premises. Yeah, yeah. and Mr. Thorne used to be the baker, ah, wow. and it's still in the family. And it's anyway, the chanters still own yeah. it. And he was very old. Yeah, you could very see old, his yeah. hands. Mm. James was a very good photographer of hands, mm. and I'm sure you know this, but this picture demonstrates this. But with your background in drama, mm. all we see of people, actually is their face and their hands. That's the only exposed flesh we see, isn't it? Mm. That's all you can see of me. Um, mm. And that is how we express ourselves. And uh, Mr Thorne's hands are so expressive there, mm. uh, as is his face, as are mine, yeah. as are hers. Yeah, um, okay. And James was very observant of hands, mm. and he wanted to get them in. Mm. But he was a dear old man. I'm mm. very fond of him. This is, cricketer, this is a cricketer. This is a cricketer I... I I know this This is a good friend of mine called Eddie Snow, mm. who's about the same, slightly older than me, mm. and he'd been playing cricket. Oh, he's still in his whites. He's, he's still in his whites, you're absolutely yes, right, that's exactly yeah. right. And a ball hit him and he just needed a few stitches. Mm. And you can see, it's. An, I mean, nowadays, people would be horrified. 
I, look, I've, I've tucked my tie in my shirt, but I'm not wearing gloves. You know, um, I, I, you know that I've put the instruments on his chest. I mean, this is not, this is not, repeat, not how you would do it. Now, I mean, people would be horrified. But actually, um, it worked really well. Mm. He came in off the cricket field. I think he went back. Mm. I think he went back to the cricket field. Um, I found my jacket up in the corner. Mm-hmm. I haven't even rolled my sleeves up. I mean, it, it is it is not a picture for medical students to learn from. But what it is about is being is about medical care being close to the patient. It's about being myself trusted and mm. Eddie just whizzed in and mm. and then in the background. I mean, this is James's is just... James's beautiful art, artistry, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> he's got amazing. he's got an old codger trundling past the open door. But what well, James, the fact that there's an open door. And well, a yes, but what there. James would have done is he'd have noticed the open door. Probably nothing had happened for ten minutes, but he, he got that moment. Mm. Obviously, I mean that's that's mm. part of his skill, isn't it? Very clever.